Hello folks, time for another in progress video on uh, Castle Grayskull, the um, Mega Constructs set I'm working on. Um, so I've now finished three sections, uh, this central section and then this this tower and then this was the third tower that I just built. So let me flip it around so you can see the inside. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. There's a little prison over here. This uh, opens up, if you move it carefully. Little skull over the door. Weird little arms on the floor and a chain. Um, and as I'd hoped, um, there is indeed a secret trap door activated by the throne. Um, so if we move the throne away, it doesn't work as well as you might hope, but that can drop down and you can drop a figure into the prison. Um, and over here we've got some... Some cool little uh, extra features, this weird little machine and this creature, which is uh, all authentic to the uh, original toy. Um, we've got this crossed swords on the wall, which is cool. Uh, you've got a little room up here. I think I showed that on my first video. Got a, fl a banner up here of the crossed power swords. And then over here, we just added this, this uh, gun turret on top of the tower. It spins around. And down here, this is a... Uh, a, a practice, uh, a fighting practice thingy. <laughs> I don't know what to describe it as exactly. But yeah, this was also in the original toy. I remember this. I think this is supposed to be feet. Feet. Yeah, it's got feet. Yeah. Wow, oh, that's weird. And then, uh... And then characters. Up here, there's not really, uh, there's not really much going on. It's just an empty room. Except but, this. Uh, oh, yeah. There's a little door over there, which is interesting. It's a wall know. door. A wall door. Got a little... So you can go out onto the parapet, I guess. I guess. Um, so yeah, this um, the second section went pretty well. Um, the third did not go smoothly for me. Um, there was a piece, the way this top piece went in here was a little strange. Uh, it was hard to get in there. This piece was hard to get in here, and I actually and this happens. Yes, and we I ran into this problem where um, one of the pieces was just crushed. So I had to go and dig through my Legos and get a replacement piece. So that's why this piece here is gray instead of brown, <laughs> because <laughs> I had to go and find a, uh, an equivalent in my, among my uh, leftover Legos. So, um, but yeah, there's this, this wall, this rounded wall was very difficult to get to go together correctly. Um, in fact, uh, this piece right here was supposed to be a square piece like this one, but I could not wedge the square one by one into this space in between this curved piece and this other curved piece on the other side. So I actually swapped in uh, one of those round one by ones because uh, I just couldn't make the uh, I couldn't make the square one work, uh, which I don't know that was that was a little frustrating. But uh, other than that, the build has been going pretty well, and I really like the way it looks. Um, so more sections to go, um, one more. and we'll see how it goes. One more. One more. Wait, no. two more. <laughs> no, yeah, I think Five there's. <laughs> I think there's a couple more to go still, but uh, yeah, that's where I am right now. Um, and also, the characters can actually fit inside here. Sure. Or you can take those little green eh. stands off the bottoms, or else they're not going to fit too good. What are you doing to that poor guy? Eh. Yeah. There he goes. And there's his weapon. There you go. Why do you even? All why right. Do you, why do you have a yellow hand and a green hand? Oh, he's got like a um, gauntlet on. I think that's the idea. Yeah. Say goodbye.